go for John here. Steve, what, what changed in, in the third quarter? You guys, I know, had, what, four turnovers in the, the second yeah. half. I think one of those four was, was late after the game had essentially been decided. But what was the, the change in that third quarter? I thought we just met their level of uh, physicality and force. I mean, they just took it to us the whole first half. They were tremendous defensively. Um, you know, that's, uh, I think, the second best defense in the league statistically. Um, and they showed it in that first half. They got after us. They took away everything we were trying to do. Uh, so in the second half, I thought we matched that effort level, that physicality, and uh, were able to get the upper hand. And obviously, we had a lot of guys do some some great things out there. Uh, Steve, how's David West doing? Uh, he said it's not too bad, so it's a good sign. We'll see what happens. I I know you uh, kind of regularly talk about how you don't care how Andre shoots because he does other stuff. But when he is hitting four threes in a game, hitting three threes in that first quarter, what does that what bonus does that provide to you guys? Well, teams are going to take away certain things uh, from us, and and uh, they're going to make us you know beat them in other areas, and that's one of them. Sometimes they'll leave Andre open or, or Draymond, and you know so when those guys hit threes, it's um, it just opens the game up for us. Steve, in the middle, when you get Draymond back, back middle, when you get Draymond and Iguodala together, just watching them and the things they do on both ends of the court, how special is what they do, especially the intangible stuff? Well, they're two of the smartest uh, defensive players I've ever seen. Uh, they both are, are able to see the, the, uh, the chessboard. Uh, and they're constantly uh, switching and talking and uh, bumping guys off and creating the you're getting rid of a mismatch uh, on the weak side and uh, so they're they're amazing uh, in what they do and and they work beautifully together as well. Steve Duran had the ball in his hands a lot, especially in the first quarter. Uh, did you kind of move to take it out of his hands, and did it flow a little better when he was off the ball? And he and Clay both working off the ball. I thought in the first half they took us out of everything, and so our default uh, when we're not running our offense is to go to KD because you know he's he's our best player. So you um, you know they I give them credit for taking us out of our offense, and um, you know we got disjointed there. But I thought we did a much better job in the second half. We only had four turnovers. The ball started to move. Uh, and I thought we just stayed with it and um, really hell of an effort in the second half. Steve, Kevin's numbers and Clay's numbers speak for themselves, but how would you kind of compare and contrast how they built their rhythm throughout the game and, and got the shots that they wanted? Uh, well, Clay didn't seem to have much going in the first half. I thought he hit a couple of big baskets for us at the end of the first to keep it to a six-point deficit, I think. He hit a three in the corner, and then he hit kind of a runner. Uh, but his second half was just an explosion. Um, KD was just methodical as always. You know, he's uh, he's amazing. Kevin, you just you sort of look up at the end of the game and he has you know 30 plus points. Um, <laughs> just happens every night. Yeah, that's how talented he is. So he you know, he kind of kept us afloat when we needed him to. And um, when Clay got going in the second half, that uh, gave us that burst we needed. How uh, impressive has Clay's shooting been these first two games? And are you surprised that you haven't really uh, noticed any kind of, or maybe you have, any after effect from the injury at all since he's come back? Now, in fact, the injury may have helped him a little bit. You know, he finally got some time off. Clay uh, has to defend the, the opponent's uh, best guard night in and night out. He never misses a game. You know, he's been in the league seven years and. I don't know how many games he's missed, but uh, not a lot. And um, so I think um, in hindsight, probably wasn't the worst thing for him to get a few weeks off and because uh, he looks really, really fresh and sharp right now. Steve, how hard was it to defend Aldridge tonight? And were there times that it seemed like whatever you threw at him just wasn't going to work? Yeah, I thought the Spurs did a great job of um, countering the way we defended in game one. And um, they beat us on a lot of... Uh, a lot of plays, a lot of actions. We're going to have to look at that and uh, reevaluate how we're how we're going to guard them. Uh, so he's he's a load. I mean, I've said it many times. I think he's the best low post scorer in the NBA now. Um, and uh, what makes him tough is that he can also step outside and shoot the jumper. But he got 12 free throws tonight. You know, they hammered us inside um, quite a bit. 
uh, but we stayed with it. Steve, to, to get that stretch from David in the second quarter to keep you guys close going into halftime, um, I think he scored on three straight possessions. How, how important was that? Yeah, yeah, David was big for us. I mean, he gives us a uh, scoring threat at that five spot, um, you know, both from the perimeter and inside. And uh, he had a really nice night tonight. And, um, you know, I was concerned with that sprained ankle. We'll see how he's doing. We need him. But um, he told me he was doing okay. Coach, did you have to challenge them at all at halftime to, to match their uh, intensity that they showed in that first half? I didn't really have to say much. They, they knew it. You know, uh, We've talked about it for the last two days. Um, we knew what was coming. But um, you know, this is the NBA. Those guys are talented. They're great players. Uh, we handled them in game one. So um, this is what you expect. This is what a game two feels like. Um, when when for game one goes relatively smoothly, I've seen this a million times. Game twos are always really difficult. Um, you know, for two days, Pop's been all over them. The media's been all over them. Uh, our guys are feeling great. And uh, next thing you know, we're down and, and they're dominating the game. So no surprise, but I'm proud of our guys for staying with it and playing a great second half. Steve, you talked about their def their defense in the first half causing all the turnovers. How much, though, did you your players just take care of the ball better, just be more conscious of that? Yeah, I mean, uh, they were in us on every cut, uh, every pass, and so we had a few mistakes that were um, unforced, but I think uh, most of them came because of their pressure and they were getting into us and we just did, couldn't find a rhythm. So, um, you know, to finish the game with 32 assists and 15 turnovers after having... 11 turnovers in the first half um, shows you how well we played in the second half. And we needed to because we, uh, we played a team that um, came out and, and really took it to us early and I thought played a great game. What was the explanation given on uh, the Draymond flagrant? And, and is there any kind of concern level given the history and the fact that he just picked up his first flagrant point early? I, I didn't. I didn't ask the official. We were just. We just kept going. So we'll we'll uh, we'll hear from the league, I guess, and uh, just. Uh, Got to go with it. Steve, back to Aldridge. You, you, you guys aren't a big double team team, yeah. uh, and you went you went to at least in that third quarter, uh, back to back to back to back, back possessions. Do you not score against it? How hard is it for you to go to a double team, and how effective do you think this one was? Maybe to stop his rhythm. Well, they were much more aggressive tonight. You know, game one was easier. Um, to help and to send double teams. And uh, tonight they did a good job of being more aggressive and uh, taking us uh, out of some of the things we wanted to do defensively. So, uh, you know, it's, it's tricky. You want to you want a double team, but you don't want to give up threes. Uh, you don't want to give up easy buckets. So you have to pick and choose. And it's not, uh, it's not that easy to figure out when to go, when not to. And so, you know, we're trying to keep him off, off rhythm. And they're trying to keep us out of rhythm defensively at the same time. So it's just kind of a, you know, a little chess match going on with, as far as the doubles are concerned. Great. Thanks. We Thank you. Have, uh, Aldridge in here for